Paul Hermann Müller, also known as Pauli Müller, the 12th of January 1899 to the 13th of October 1965, was a Swiss chemist who received the 1948 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his 1939 discovery of insecticidal qualities and use of DDT in the control of vector diseases such as malaria and yellow fever. Topic Early life and education Muller was born on January 12, 1899 in Olten, Solothurn to Gottlieb and Fanny Muller. He was the oldest of four children. His father worked for the Swiss Federal Railways and the family first moved to Lenzburg in Argau and then to Basel. Muller went to the Freie Evangelische Volksschule Free Protestant People's School and later to the Lower and Upper Realschule. In that time, he had a small laboratory where he could develop photographic plates or build radio equipment. In 1916, he left school to work as a laboratory assistant at Dreyfus or Dreyfus and C and Company. The next year, he became an assistant chemist in the scientific industrial laboratory of the electrical plant of Lanza AG. Returning to school in 1918, he obtained his diploma by 1919 and entered Basel University in the same year. At Basel University he studied chemistry with a minor in botany and physics and started to study inorganic chemistry under Professor Friedrich Fichter. In 1922 he continued his studies in the organic chemistry lab of Hans Rupp. While working for Rupp as assistant, he received his Ph.D. writing a dissertation entitled Die chemische und elektrochemische Oxidation des as, M. Xylodens und Sains Mono und D. Methylderivates The Chemical and Electrochemical Oxidation of Asymmetrical M. Xylodene and its Mono and D. Methyl Derivatives in 1925. He graduated with summa cum laude. Topic early work at Geige On 25 May 1925 Muller began working as a research chemist for the dye division of J. R. Geige AG in Basel. His first research topics at Geige concerned synthetic and plant-derived dyes and natural tanning agents. This work led to the production of the synthetic tanning agents Ergotin G, Ergotin FL and Ergotin FLT. In 1935, Geige began research on moth and plant protection agents and Muller was specifically interested in plant protection. He said that his love for plants and nature in general, which led him to choose botany as a minor subject at university, brought him to think about plant protection. Specifically, he wanted to start synthesizing chemical plant protection agents himself. In 1937, he patented a technique for synthesizing novel rhodonide and cyanate-based compounds which showed bactericide and insecticide activity. He then developed the product graminone, a seed disinfectant which was safer than the mercury-based disinfectants at the time. Topic synthesis of DDT After his success with tanning agents and disinfectants, Muller was assigned to develop an insecticide. At that time, according to the world of anatomy and physiology, the only available insecticides were either expensive natural products or synthetics ineffective against insects. The only compounds that were both effective and inexpensive were arsenic compounds, which were just as poisonous to human beings and other mammals. During the course of his research, Muller found that insects absorbed chemicals differently than mammals. This led him to believe it likely that there are chemicals toxic exclusively to insects. He sought to synthesize the ideal contact insecticide, one which would have a quick and powerful toxic effect upon the largest possible number of insect species while causing little or no harm to plants and warm-blooded animals. Quote, he also made it his goal to create an insecticide that was long-lasting and cheap to produce, along with a high degree of chemical stability. In embracing this goal, Muller was motivated by two events. The first of these was a major food shortage in Switzerland, which underscored the need for a better way to control the infestation of crops by insects. The second was the typhus epidemic in Russia, which was the most extensive and lethal such epidemic in history. He began his search for his insecticide in 1935. He studied all the data he could find on the subject of insecticides, decided which chemical properties the kind of insecticide he was in search of would exhibit, and set out to find a compound that would suit his purposes. Muller spent four years searching and failed 349 times before. In September 1939, he found the compound he was looking for. He placed a fly in a cage laced with one particular compound, and short while later, the fly died. The compound he had placed in the cage was dichlorodiphenyltrichloroethane DDT, or, more precisely, 1,1,1-trichloro-2,2-bis-4-chlorophenyl ethane, which a Viennese pharmacologist named Othmar Ziedler had first synthesized in 1874. 
Ziedler, while publishing a paper about his synthesis, had not investigated the properties of the new compound, and had thus failed to recognize its extraordinary value as an insecticide. Muller quickly realized that DDT was the chemical he had been searching for. Tests of DDT by the Swiss government and the U.S. Department of Agriculture confirmed its effectiveness against the Colorado potato beetle. Further tests demonstrated its astonishing effectiveness against a wide range of pests, including the mosquito, louse, flea, and sandfly, which, respectively, spread malaria, typhus, the plague, and various tropical diseases. Topic. Application of DDT After taking out a Swiss patent on DDT in 1940 a UK patent followed in 1942 and patents in the US and Australia in 1943, Geige began to market two DDT-based products, a 5% dust called Gesserol Spray Insecticide and a 3% dust called Neocid Dust Insecticide. The name DDT was first employed by the British Ministry of Supply in 1943, and the product was added to U.S. Army supply lists in May of the same year. It was also in 1943 that the first practical tests of DDT as a residual insecticide against adult vector mosquitoes were carried out. The next year, in Italy, tests were performed in which residual DDT was applied to the interior surfaces of all habitations and outbuildings of a community to test its effect on Anopheles vectors and malaria incidents. DDT saved the lives of millions during World War II. Between the 1950s and 1970s, DDT helped eradicate malaria entirely from many countries, the U.S. included. Later scientific career Muller became Geige's deputy director of scientific research on substances for plant protection in 1946. In 1948 he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine, "...for his discovery of the high efficiency of DDT as a contact poison against several arthropods." The fact that he was accorded this honor even though he was neither a physician nor a medical researcher reflected the immense impact that DDT had had in the fight against human disease. The Nobel Committee said, "...DDT has been used in large quantities in the evacuation of concentration camps, of prisons and deportees. Without any doubt, the material has already preserved the life and health of hundreds of thousands." In 1951, Muller was one of seven Nobel laureates who attended the first Lindau Nobel laureate meeting. In addition to the 1948 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, Muller received an honorary doctorate from the University of Thessalonica in Greece in recognition of DDT's impact on the Mediterranean region. He retired from Geige in 1961, continuing his research in a home laboratory. Personal life. In high school, Paul was only an average student. His grades suffered because he spent all his free time in his little home laboratory performing elementary experiments. In high school and college, Paul was often mocked by his peers being called the ghost due to his thin and pale appearance. Muller married Friedel Rugsiger in 1927 and had two sons, Heinrich B. 1929 and Niklaus B. 1933, and one daughter, Margaretha B. 1934. His wife took charge of the household and raised their two sons and daughter so that Paul could concentrate on chemistry. In his free time, Muller enjoyed the nature in the Swiss Alps and in the Swiss Jura where he owned a small holiday home, allowing Paul to resume his longtime interest in botany. Furthermore, he owned a small fruit farm that he regularly tended to. Muller often relaxed while gardening, photographing mountain wildflowers, and taking the children on early morning nature walks. Moreover, Paul and his wife, Friedel, often enjoyed playing flute and piano duets from Gluck's Orfeo and Eurydice. Reading on the weekends in the mountains, Muller immersed himself in the science of plant protection and pest control. This fascination resulted in his research on pesticides at Geige, and sequentially the discovery of DDT's pesticidal properties. Muller was regarded as an independent soul, a lone wolf. In fact, his daughter, Margaretha, called him an eigenbrotteler. One who makes his own bread. He was determined and persistent in all aspects of his life, having learned a great deal from his college mentor, Professor Fichter. 
He died in the early morning of October 13, 1965 in Basel after a short illness surrounded by family and loved ones. Honours Muller received many honours in his life, among them the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Specifically Greece honoured him for the near elimination of malaria in the country as a result of his discovery. In 1963, he was invited to Greece and received with great sympathy and celebrated as national hero. Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 1948 Honorary Member of the Swiss Nature Research Society 1949 Honorary Member of the Paris Society of Industrial Chemistry 1949 Honorary Member of the Real Academia Internazionale del Parnasso Napoli 1951 Medal of Honor of the Congress Internationale de Phytopharmacie et Phytoterie Paris 1952 Honorary Member of the Academia Brasileira de Medicina Militar Rio de Janeiro Four honorary doctorate at the Universidad Nacional Eva Peron honorary professorship at the Escuela Superior Técnica e Investigación Científica Buenos Aires honorary doctorate at the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki 1963 Golden Medal of the City of Thessaloniki 1963 Topic Publications Muller, Paul Hermann 1925, Die Chemische und Elektrochemische Oxidation des M. Xylodens und Sains Mono und D. Methylderivates, Basel, Universitat Basel, Philosophische Fakultat. Inaugural Dissertation Fichter, Friedrich, Muller, Paul Hermann. Chemisch und Elektrochemische Oxidation des. M. Xylodens und Sains Mono und D. Methylderivates. Helvetica Chimica Acta, 8, 1, 290 300. Doi 10.1002 HLCA.1925008014. Lager, P. Martin H. Muller, Paul Hermann, 1944. Über Konstitution und Toxisch Working von Natürlichen und Neuen Synthetischen Insekten Stoffen, 27, 1. Genf, Basel, Helv. Chim. Acta, pp. 892-928, doi, 10.1002, HLCA.1944027011115 Muller, Paul Hermann 1946, Uber Zusammenhang zwischen Konstitution und Insektizider Working, 29, GENF, Basel, Helv. Chim. Acta, pp. 1560-1580 Muller, Paul Hermann 1946, Relations entre la constitution chimique et l'action insecticide dans le groupe de dichlorodiphenyl trichlorothane et dérivés apparentes, compte rendu du premier congrès international de phytopharmacie. Everill, p. 97 Muller, Paul Hermann 1949, Dichlorodiphenylethan und neuer insecticide. Nobel lecture, delivered 11. December 1948. In Les Prix Nobel in 1948, Stockholm, Kungl, Bachtrickeriet P.A. Norstedt and Sonner, pp. 122-123 Muller, Paul Hermann 1949, Physik und Chemie des Dichlorodiphenylethans, Berlin, Göttingen, Heidelberg, Ergeben. H.Y.G., Bacterial. Immunitätsforsch. EXP. Thera, pp. 8-17 Muller, Paul Hermann 1949, DDT and the Newer Insecticides, London, Proceedings of the Second International Congress on Crop Protection Muller, Paul Hermann, Spindler, M. 1954. Die Chemie der Insecticide, IHRE in Twicklung und IHR Hütiger Stand, 10 3. Basel, Experientia, 91-131. Doi 10.1007 BF0215851 Muller, Paul Hermann 1954 Chlorierte Kohlenwasserstoff in der Schädelingsbekämpfung In Almonds Encyclopädie der Technischen Chemie 5 Band München Berlin Urban and Schwarzenberg PP 477 to 486 Muller, Paul Hermann 1955 Physik und Chemie des DDT Insecticides in, DDT, Das Insektizid Dichlorodiphenylethan und Sein Bedudin Volume 1, Basel, Stuttgart, Berkhauser, pp. 29-89 Muller, Paul Hermann 1959, Verwendung der Antibiotika im Pflanzenschutz und Vorathschutz, 6, Basel, New York, Antibiotika et Chemotherapia, pp. 1-40 Muller, Paul Hermann 1961, Zwanzig Jahre Wissenschaftliche, Synthetische Bearbeitung des Gebietes der Synthetischen Insektizide, 14, Stuttgart, Natterwiss. 
RDSCH, pp. 209 to 219. Muller, Paul Hermann, 1964. Schädelingsbekämpfung, Insecticide und Andier Insektenbekämpfungsmittel. In Almans Encyclopädie der Technischen Chemie, 15. Band, München, Berlin, Urban & Schwarzenberg, pp. 103–131 Topic References Topic External links Dr. Paul Muller PDF. Nature. 208 1043–4. December 1965. doi. 10.1038.208104.3b0. ISSN 0028-0836. PMID 5331547. Retrieved 24 November 2012. Raju T. N. April 1999. The Nobel Chronicles. 1948, Paul Hermann Muller 1899-1965. Lancet. 353 doi 10.1016 so 10.1016/s0140673605744263 ISSN 0140-67363. PMID 10210021 Paul Hermann Muller Biography Gale Group World of Anatomy and Physiology 